The replace method returns a new version of the original string as it matches the matched pattern, and we're going to be using regular expressions as well as just regular string values to see the difference between what we can do with replace, replace all, and how they work, and how we can add flags, the global flag, to the regular expression in order to select all of the matching results. We're using the input area within the text area in order to create our string content. And then once the button is clicked, it's going to run through the event listener and make an update, returning back various string values that are updated from the original string. And then we're outputting those within the HTML of the web page. Using the replace method, we're going to replace our string content. We're going to use a regular expression to find a string value that we're matching within the string and then update it using the replace method. So whenever the button gets clicked on the page, it's going to replace that value within the string content. And that string content right now is sitting within the text area. We've got the JavaScript already set up. That's going to be selecting the page elements in order to allow us to create interaction within the content. So let's go ahead and update where we've got the button. We've got the event listener on the button. So whenever the button is clicked, then we run the contents and the functionality of the content within the event listener. So let's go ahead and we're going to select this text content and using replace, we're going to be replacing the word love within the string and updating it with another word. So go ahead and create a variable. So this is going to be the response back after we run the replace method on the string. So first we identify the string content and we've got that within text. I'm going to just update this to be str. That will represent the string content that we currently have within the text area. And then use the replace method on the string value. So the pattern that we want to find, we've already got it within a regular expression. A regular expression, so using the slashes. And then in between the slashes, this is the pattern that we're trying to match and we can match it using the global flag. And so the first argument within the replace, and I'm actually going to update this because I'm only using uh, res as the results. So this is going to be the response back, and it will also be the new string that we've created. So I'm going to give it a variable name of str2. So let's add in the regular expression that we want to match. So it's going to be under reg variable. And then the second argument is going to be what we're replacing the pattern with. So let's just replace it with another string value. I'm going to replace it with enjoy. And then using the element where we've got the results, and that's just going to be a div on the page, we can output it on the page, the results. So set the inner HTML of that element and set it to be the value of the new string value that's being created. So when we click it, we see that what happened is that we enjoy, and that's been replacing the word love. So what it's doing is it's actually just catching the first instance of the pattern that it's matching and updating and replacing it with the new returned result from the string. So the original string is still going to say the same. So nothing happens to the original string, but you can return back the new version of the string and assign it to a variable. And that's what we've done over here. So if we take the string and output it into the console, that's not going to change. So that's still going to be the same as it is within the input area. And we're just updating the results. So let's go ahead and add in the global flag to the pattern and see what the difference is. So when we click the checker, we notice that we've got love in the string value twice, and both of them have been updated using the replace. So that's one way that you can replace all of the occurrences by updating the pattern to match the global pattern. You can also add in other flags to make it case sensitive. So right now, unless the pattern matches exactly, it's not going to be changed. So we need to update this and we can add in another other flag, which is the I flag. And that's going to make it that it will match depending on the different cases. So even if we've got an uppercase or a capitalized word, as long as the pattern is still there, the case is not going to matter and it's going to be able to match against all of those cases. Let's take a look at the replace all. So this is a way to method that's going to return a new string that's going to replace all of the patterns that were matched. 
So go ahead and duplicate the regular, and we're going to remove out the global flag for this and give it a value of one. So that way it's a different variable that we're going to be matching and replacing with. And instead of updating that to the string two, let's create a new string. I'm going to call that string three. And then using the replace all method, then we've got the pattern that we're matching against and the word that we're replacing it with. And I'm going to replace it with the word and output the value of the string three. And when you are using, the reason that we're throwing an error is that when we do use the replace all, we do need to indicate the global flag. So you do need to have the global flag in the pattern that you're replacing. And replace will also work. So if you are replacing it, you can just use it as a regular string method. So using the replace all can replace a particular pattern or a word or string value and this way we don't actually need the regular expressions. And the difference between the replace all and the replace is that the replace all is going to work with the string and match in all of those values. Whereas if we do the just the replace, we'll do another one for string number five using replace and return the results as string five. We see that with the difference between when we're just using the string values as opposed to the regular expressions is that there is a clear difference between replace and replace all. But when you are using the regular expressions and the global flag on the word and the string pattern within the regular expression, then they're both gonna be using and replacing all of the occurrences, whether you're using the replace or the replace all. And the replace all does of course require that global flag in order to be able to replace all of the matches to the pattern that's been provided. Go ahead and try it out within your own editor to get more familiar with what you can do with replace and replace all methods using regular expressions in JavaScript.